Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to your guidebook for Project 6.0 Amusement Park Map Design. Once you are on the Google Classroom and you scroll down to the bottom you will see your digital work sample. So we will be creating a four page spread. On page one you will create a logo with a name, graphic, type of park, and a real location in the United States. On page two, you will have your compass and your scale. Everyone's scale will be the exact same. On page three will be your map legend. This is where you're going to be putting all the information from your organization sheet right into a digital graphic. And page four is gonna be a copy of each of these graphics plus five restroom symbols. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to canva.com. You will hit create a design after you sign in with your Google account. Then we are going to custom size. We're first gonna change the units to inches. Your custom size will be four by six inches and then you may start to hit create new design. Okay, we are first going to title this and we are going to title this your theme park name. So whatever your name is, you can go ahead and put that in. We have one page currently, we need four. So we're gonna hit add page, that's page two, that's page three, that is page four. We're gonna title these pages. First page will be logo. Scroll down, second page will be compass and scale. Scroll down, page three will be legend. And if we scroll down, page four will be symbols. Scroll back up. We are now gonna be working on our logo. To get us started, we're gonna hit the elements button in the left side. We're gonna to go to shapes and hit see all. You may choose any shape that you wish as your anchoring shape for your logo. So I'm gonna go ahead with this one. I just clicked it one time. I'm gonna expand it a little bit. I can do two things with the shape. I can change the color, so I can make it any basic color, or I can make it any basic gradient. Or what I can do is I can make this shape a frame by clicking border style, solid, choosing a number. Um, I'd say eight is probably good. This right here is gonna be your border color, so I could use that same um, gradient. And then that interior color is gonna go to none. So now you'll see that it becomes a frame. So I can do any of those things. It just depends on what you're looking to do. Next step is I need a graphic. So I wanna choose something that relates to my theme, whatever my chosen theme is. And let's say my theme is fruit and I want some grapes. Okay, so when I type in my keyword, I'm gonna go to graphics, I'm gonna hit see all, and I'm gonna find the grapes that I think look the coolest for my logo. I kinda of like these ones. Okay. And you can put it in the center, you can put it left, you can put it right, you can put it wherever you want, basically. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to X out and I'm gonna go to the text tool because I need to add in my title. So I'm gonna hit add a heading. And I am going to call my Vineyard Park. I can change um, the font style by selecting it and choosing a new font style from any that are available. And I like this kind of where I can do two different font styles at once. Uh, something like that. And you can also increase the size. Okay. And you can change the color. 
so mm, you can also change pick any color from the color wheel all right now i'm going to drag this up And lastly, in my logo, I need what type of park it is. So I'm going to hit add a subheading. And mine is going to be an amusement park. Remember, you have to choose theme park, amusement park, or water park. And I'm going to change that font so that it matches. The largest, most bold font that you should have it should be the title. All right, and then that way amusement park is gonna be smaller and then underneath amusement park, I'm gonna put a real location in the United States where this could be. So I am just going to put Pickerington, Ohio. You can make it anywhere that Google Maps will actually search. And the um, that text should be a little bit smaller since it's not as important, okay? Okay, cool. So now my logo is complete. I am moving on to page two. Page two is your compass and scale. This is the easiest of all the pages. We're going to come to elements. We're going to go to the search bar. We're going to type in the word compass. You may choose any of the graphics that have the north, south, east, west on them. So you're going to click and drag the one that you like over. And on some of them, you can alter the color. So I see how I just made that one green. And that's all you need to do. Make sure your scaling is about similar to mine. The next thing we're going to do is hit the text tool. We're going to hit add a subheading. We're going to type in the word scale and then hit enter. We're going to do one inch equals 100 FT or 100 feet. If it does this to you, just spread out your box so that everything is two rows, top and bottom. You can change your font style to match that of your logo. And then I'm also going to go ahead and change the text color to that green color so that these two match. And that is a completed page two. Scrolling down to page three, this is going to be one of the harder pages. And this is going to be your map legend page. So we're going to start off by making a copy of our logo. We first need to group it. So it's very easy. You're going to click out in the white space and drag over top of your logo so that everything is highlighted. You're then going to click the word group. Now everything is stuck together and it will not come apart. I want to duplicate and decrease the size then I'm going to drag this logo down to page two by just clicking and dragging and then I'm going to be dragging it down and centering it on page three then I'm going to be hitting add a heading in this heading I'm going to capitalize map and legend then what I want to do is change this font style to match the font style that I have been using so match your font style. In between the word map and legend, I'm gonna hit the space bar a couple times. And then I'm going to position this up. And you can change the font sizing for this until you feel like it looks good. So I'm gonna make mine maybe, I think 24 looks okay. And then I'm going to drag it over. I'm also going to change my font text to be that green color. Okay, in the map legend, I'm going to show you guys a sample. The map legend needs to include the following. Your six ride names, your two restaurants, your two vendors, and your two shops. You also need to include restrooms 
and you need symbols for everything. So when your map legend is complete, you will have 13 total symbols on this page. You need to scale everything down so that it all fits appropriately. It all needs to fit. That is one of the challenges. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to do that. Okay, finding symbols for your ride names. Let's say, for example, mine's based on fruit, and I was going to call one of my rides the strawberry <coughs> slides. Okay, so what do you think comes to mind when I say strawberry slides? Of course, a strawberry. So what I would do is I would try to find a strawberry as my symbol for that. So it's pretty easy in Canva. You would go to elements and then you would just use this search bar every single time to kind of look up what graphics come to mind. So I could go to graphics and I can find all of the strawberries. I wanna find a simplified version. So this one that's like a photo is a little too complicated, but this one is great because it's a simplified version of the strawberry. So once again, I'm scaling it down and I am moving it up near where I have my strawberry slides title. And I am doing this for all 13 of my um, items inside my map legend. And then of course the last one is going to be the restroom. So you could choose any of the double restroom symbols and you will add it anywhere that you can really fit it in. But of course, please make sure you also type restroom as well. Let's say for example that I needed to add more stuff here. All I need to do is basically select and I can scale those things down to add more room. So now if you see I created extra room up here to type in, you know, whatever else I may need to add. Okay, I'm gonna put that back up. Um, and then also you can do the same with symbols. So if they come in really large, um, let's say like for instance this symbol, you can simply scale it down and then you can move it closer to where it needs to be. Um, or you can do the opposite and make it larger if you need to. You can also turn things on an angle so that if they're running into text above, um, you can alter that as well. In addition, you will need a frame around page three, your map legend page, because we need to cut it out. So we need to know exactly where the borders of the page are. So I'm gonna show you a really easy way to do that. Coming to elements, choose, go under shapes and choose the square with the hard edges, not the rounded. Click it once and expand this square until it perfectly touches the boundaries of your canvas, okay? So don't go beyond, perfectly touch the boundaries of the canvas and do this on all four sides. And what it's gonna look like is you're covering up all the work that you just did, but you're not. Straight above, we wanna go to border style, these three lines. You wanna choose a solid line and I'm just gonna choose eight I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard. You'll see how a black border starts to pop up, okay? Well here, I can change that. I can make it the same gradient pattern that I have my logo out of, or I can make it any color I want. But the important thing is that the interior color, the solid color, is no color or void of color, okay? Now, in order to get this to layer to the back side so that you can still edit any of the information you have in your map legend, you're going to come over to your three dots and hit see more. And then we're going to click position. Position is our layer area. So you're going to see all the different layers that you've created on this page so far so that you can move them around if need be. We're gonna to go to arrange. We're gonna make sure that our border is selected so you can see here it has the guidelines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send that to the back. 
And now I'm able to touch or manipulate any of the things that I have inside the frame. Okay, and then this has a nice even border around it and that was super quick and easy. The last page will be for your symbols. So it's pretty simple. All you need to do is come to your map legend, click on your symbol, click duplicate, or you can hit control D. Click and drag down. Now, if you notice, you wanna increase the size about 10% of each symbol. So increase the size about 10%. And what I like to do is I like to lay mine out in a grid, okay? So if you notice, mine are all in a grid. In addition, on the restroom symbol, you need five of those. And the reason I lay mine out in a grid is because I am going to cut these out with scissors later and it just makes it easier to make a grid at this time. ready and finished with all four pages and I am going to send this to Miss Honeycut. I'm going to hit share. I'm going to hit download. My file type needs to be changed to PDF print. If you notice this is the only one that says print and we are printing it. So PDF print. If it is not made into a PDF print it will not be printed. Select pages. Make sure it says all pages four. Then you will hit the download button. Okay. Then what you will do is you will go to your email. You will compose a new email to Mandy underscore honeycut at plsd.us. You will use the paper clip to attach your file, your PDF file. And then you can hit send. When it is received by Miss Honeycut, it will look just like this. And then she can print it to size. 